Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about uh, rear wings. And so specifically, we have a Corvette uh, rear wing. Now this is a Z51 rear wing. I believe it comes on the, uh, the Z06 um, Corvettes, the newer C7s, as well as uh, some of the base models as well. Now, so what we've got here is we've got uh, the wing, we've already got it prepped out, we've already got it painted and ready to go. Now, of course, this is gonna be going in our carbon fiber. Um, so we've already got it base coated with our charcoal metallic gray. And um, you can also find all of those in uh, with the links in the description below. So a couple of things to remember on this is that you have your third brake light, which is going to be right here because this is going to be the front of it. And then, of course, you have the back of it back down in here. Now, a couple of things to look at is, is that back in here, you do have this area that kind of cuts down like this. So we still want to try to get enough of the actual um, pattern to wrap around here and down into this, as well as around this way and also even back down into here, back down into here and all the way around like that as much as possible. So most of the time, this is probably going to be a pretty easy dip. Uh, the biggest thing is, is that you've got to make sure that you activate it right, as well as that you uh, have the correct angle. And so um, what we're actually going to be doing is we're gonna be holding it by some of the studs that it's made out of, and then we're going to be dipping it just like this very slowly down into the water. Now, if we go slow enough, then these sharper angles that we've got right in through here and right in through here, the pattern should roll up into those areas very easily. Now, the one thing that you could do is, is you could take tape and make uh, and back tape the edge. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable or you just wanna make sure that's perfectly fine, you can take this right here and we can back tape it just like so. So then now, as the film rolls in like this, it hits right there and then it comes back up. The only problem is that you do create a little bit of an air pocket that could create um, an actual air pocket right there. Um, so you create that voided area, so then that way the air has nowhere to go and then it's possible to trap air in that one spot. So there's always gonna be a good and a bad to some of the things that we do. Now in this case, I feel confident enough that we can dip this in one shot going all the way down, make it look really good, as well as getting it to cover really well right down in this area and right down in this area right here. Now, the other thing that you could do is, is if you don't get uh, good enough coverage all the way around in that area, you could come back in and black in all of these areas like that. Give it a nice soft edge, a uh, nice black edge all the way around into here, as well as you have carbon fiber all the way around here, all the way around here. Customer's still probably going to be very happy with it, but that is something that you can do afterwards if that doesn't come out very well. So let's go ahead because there's going to be pretty much little to no prep work that we need to do on this other than we've already painted it, it's already ready to be dipped. We're gonna go ahead and get our carbon fiber out, uh, lay it out, figure out how much material that we're gonna need, and then pretty much cut it and put it in the water and show you guys how to dip this rear spoiler, so stay tuned. All right, so now that we've got everything laid out, uh, I went ahead and I taped off half of it right here, and of course I taped off my other longer section right here. Now, uh, with the 282 that we've got, um, it does want to roll up whenever you have really long edges like that, whenever you lay it down in the water. So by taping it, what we're gonna be able to do is we can put our knife right in the middle of that tape and then cut it all the way across, and then that way it helps it from rolling up onto itself, and a piece that's this big will end up being that big after it's all said and done if you don't have the tape on it. Now again, not every film needs the tape, but in this case, we are gonna go ahead and put it on there just to make sure that we have it. So then that way, whenever we go to dip it, we know that we have this much material and we can definitely have plenty of room to dip the entire part. So I've got everything taped off. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting everything and then we'll get it laid in the water and get started with it. All 
All right. So one thing to remember is, is on a spoiler like this. Now, not all spoilers are like that. Some are made out of fiberglass. Some are um, uh, carbon fiber. Uh, some are plastic. Um, they all have different properties. So the biggest thing to remember is, is that because this thing is hollow like that, it's going to float. So you've got to remember that. So you can't just be holding this like this turn it up and expect it to go straight down into the water because if it does it's literally going to hit right here and then start floating and then you're just going to be floating right here because you're not ready to push down into the water so now if it's carbon fiber you don't have to worry about it too much because normally it's going to be all a single a single piece or something like that fiberglass normally about the same way but because this is plastic like this right here um, we are gonna have to hold it a little bit differently. So instead of holding it like this right here and then just nonchalantly going down and then, oh, now it messed up. Um, what I'm actually going to be doing is, is I'm actually going to be holding it to where I can physically push down harder and I know that whenever I am over that tank and I'm going in with it, I can push as much as I need to going straight down instead of right here and then I'm just like, uh-oh, and then I start to hesitate, I get a bunch of lines in it, the pattern probably isn't going to work very well, and I'm going to have to redo it all. So definitely keep that in mind whenever you are doing a piece like this, especially splitters, uh, I'm sorry, especially spoilers like this, we do have reliefs that will let some of the water come in, but it won't be near enough to let the water come in enough that we're going down into the water with it to fill it up at the same rate. So definitely keep that in mind you don't want to be caught and then you're like oh uh i gotta start pushing and you're not ready so you need to definitely hold it in the right way to be able to push down into the water because it is going to be a little bit more buoyant so definitely keep that in mind all right so we've got everything cut we got everything ready uh, we'll go ahead, we'll get our divider set in place, and we'll put the film on the water and get it going. So stay tuned. All right, so now that we've got everything on the water, we got our gloves on. Um, small little bubble there, blow that out. Now, one thing to remember is, is that whenever I'm activating this, I'm actually going to be activating it this way, back and forth. And the reason being is, is that as I'm doing that, if I go back this way and then all the way back that way, by the time I get from here and then back down to there, this is already activated. So therefore the air pressure from blowing down on here can start to move my carbon one way or another. And so that's why we're going to actually start going from there and going back like that and activate it that way. So timer's up, go ahead and get started. Remember, you just want nice, slow, and steady. Don't get in a rush. And you definitely don't want to overactivate it or underactivate it even. All right, we'll check everything, make sure everything looks good, which it does. Hold it the way that we need to, to force it down. So I know y'all can't feel this, but I definitely had to put a lot more pressure going down onto it to make it go down. And of course, you can see we've got all the water that it did fill up, which isn't very much, but you can see on the dip, dip came out very nice all the way through. Once we go to uh, rinse this off, we'll clear coat it, and it'll look really nice once we're done with it. All right, let's get it in the rinse station, get it rinsing off, and we'll be good to go. Hey, we need quiet in here, please.
I can't concentrate. <laughs> you can add that to the bloopers, really. <laughs> All right, so we got everything clear coated, everything touched up on this uh, rear spoiler for the Corvette. Everything came out amazing. The customer's definitely going to love it. I think you guys are going to as well. Um, so what we did here is, is that we went ahead, we blacked in a lot of this area in through here. Uh, inevitably, there will be a light that'll stick right here, so you won't be able to see that a lot, but that'll give it a nice smooth edge all the way around through here, as well as you've got a really nice uh, smooth carbon fiber all the way across here. Everything looks amazing. Uh, looks really good, really straight. Uh, customers definitely going to love it. We got it all the way around these edges right through here and of course right on this edge right here. So I definitely think this came out really nice, really good. Um, Customers definitely going to love it. And of course, I think you guys are as well. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know we always do. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything that you got as far as hydrographic related or anything like that. Um, also too, the clear coat that we used on this, that's going to be our European clear. So uh, if you have any questions on that, there's a link in the description below. You can check that out as well. Um, if you like the video, definitely give us a big thumbs up. We'd love to have that. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love, love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks videos that we do all the time for hydrographics and anything related to that. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and we're making hydrographics great again. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.